Good day everyone, Adam here from Benito. Next 560 to leave the factory. Just want to give you a quick walkthrough of this boat motor trailer package that we've assembled for the customer. So this particular boat's uh, fitted to a Aussie alloy dual axle, a keel roller and skidded su uh, side supports, drive on, drive off trailer. And it's also fitted with a swing away draw bar. So that means this part here, on pull, you pull the pin out and uh, the, support, the draw bar swings around this way. Uh, this gives us a total, total overall length of 6.6 .6 meters when the motor is vertical, so tilted in the down position. Uh, up the front, we've got an electric motor mount fitted, stainless steel bow roller as always, looks absolutely gorgeous. Coming on down, we've got the large console. I'll jump up inside in a second, lean a seat, show you all that, but just before we're around at the back, we've got transom steps fitted to this particular boat and a 130 Yamaha as well. I'll jump up on inside now. Alrighty, just jumped up inside the 560. So what we've done on this boat is we've moved the console 100 millimeters further forward. This gives us a little bit more space in the back of the boat. It doesn't compromise the ride at all. It just opens up the back of the boat for a bit more fishing room. Makes the boat feel a little bit bigger actually. Um, down the back, as you normal, Two bait tanks, port starboard. Fuel filler down in the back, 150 litre fuel tank is standard. Live well on this side. 150 horsepower rated these boats, so you can put 150 on them as standard. 130 goes beautiful, unreal fuel economy. Offshore you'll see fuel economy of over two kilometres a litre. Inside here, this is dry storage in your seat box. So we make this all ourselves, we don't get any of these any of these setups from over anywhere else. We make the box in-house, we get the upholstery done locally, and as well as the stainless steel, it's all done locally. Uh, side pockets, all fully fiberglass done. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, nice place to sit. Nice and comfy, you can lean against it or stand and drive, or sit down and drive. It doesn't feel, doesn't fill up the boat very much. It doesn't feel claustrophobic in here. We've got high drive, hydraulic steering fitted. Your base electrics package here and your Yamaha controls here. You can flush mount a 12 inch screen, it is tight, but it is possible. Anchor light here that just drops in when you need it. Up the front, we haven't done one of these for a while, but I think they're awesome in a 560. Gives you tons of room in front of the console for a car for a esky or anything you want to put in here, but still allowing you to have some storage. So we got nice big cast platform storage in here. You strain overboard. It's better for the both worlds of having a cast platform, but with also having a space. Gives you plenty of storage. Console as per usual, standard, with the windscreen and the grab rail and the access hatch in the front. Let's give you one quick last look around the boat. Build system down there as well now. Thank you very much. Dave, for letting us build your boat. I can't wait to see you out on the water, enjoying it with your family, and looking forward to seeing the pictures. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out on the water. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in a Benito, let me know. My number is 0426 260 015, or if you're up in Cairns, Bill's Marine. He's got a couple in stock at the moment. He's got a 660, and I know he's got a five meter Islander and a 560 Islander, I believe. So yeah, if you're up that way, make sure to check out Bill's Marine. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the water.